What's up, Clarity Coders? As you guys probably know, I'm a huge Code Bullet fan, and he just released another auto clicker video. So I wanted to go through the code with you and show you exactly how it's done, line by line. And then once we complete that, I'm gonna show you how we can take it to the next level and integrate social media. So we're gonna have a live stream running that allows people to comment and actually interact with our bot as it runs. Let's not waste any more time and jump right in. So the first thing you can do if you wanna spin up this project, I'm gonna show you how to do it on any game pretty much, but we're gonna use Cookie Clicker. And it's one of the most popular idle clicker games. It's one of the first idle clicker games. And I wrote a little script that can show you how we can automate it and really very easily interact with the game. Exactly how Code Bullet does it in his video. He used a different game, but it's the same concept. So what we're gonna do, if you hop over to the GitHub link in the description. You can download all the source code and then I'll show you how you can hook it up for your environment. So a couple things here, when you get to the GitHub, I'm gonna assume that you already have Python installed and on the path. If you don't, you need to do that first. If you need help with that, you can jump in our Discord and we can help you out or find any YouTube tutorial on installing Python on whatever your operating system is. So once you have Python installed, and everything along those lines, you can go to the GitHub and you can clone this project down. Again, if you don't know how to do that, you can go through that route as well. Now the environment I use is Visual Studio Code. So you can use whatever code editor you want, but if you want it to look exactly like I'm doing here, then you need Visual Studio Code. So once you get the project pulled down, you're gonna see the files over in the File Explorer and you can see all the different uh, setups that we kind of did here to create this project. The first thing you need to do is you need to install all of the requirements. So we're gonna use four libraries, um, three we have to pip install and the other comes with Python. So we shouldn't have to pip install the time package. So to do this, the first thing that you wanna do in most projects is create a virtual environment. If you don't know how to do that, you can do pip install virtual env. Now I already have it, so it's gonna finish already, but what that will do is it's gonna allow you to create a virtual environment. So once you have it installed, you can do virtual env, env, and then you can activate that environment. Now I've already done it here, so I'm not gonna do that. I named mine venv actually. So now to activate that, I'm inside a bash, so I'm gonna go source venv scripts activate awesome now once that's activated now we can install all of our libraries now you can install these globally too so if the virtual environment didn't work and you just want to do the project you can you can skip the virtual environment part and just start with us right here so what we're going to do is we're going to install all the requirements which i have in the requirements.txt so we're going to do pip install dash r requirements.txt so it's going to run through and install all the libraries you need to do this project now the main libraries that we're gonna use, or the main library that we're gonna use is Pi Auto GUI. I'm assuming Code Bullet uses this library. If he doesn't, he uses something very similar. So if we scroll down, you can kind of see what we're gonna do with that library. So what this library does is it allows us to interact with the screen. So we're gonna use these pyautogui.click calls to click on different points on our screen. So that's gonna do everything from click the cookie to buying upgrades and different things like that. That's our first library. The second library we're gonna use is a library called Keyboard. So what I do here is I create an infinite loop. So I set a running variable equal to true, and then I say while running, keep running this program. So this, this middle section is just gonna repeat over and over and over again, essentially clicking cookies, and I'll get to the upgrades in just a minute, but that's essentially what it's gonna do is keep running constantly. Well, as you may know, we want a way to get out of this infinite loop or we might have an issue. So what I do is if you press down with this library, I change running equal to false. And then I just do a little log statement here, printing killing program. So if you hold down the down key, it's going to break us out of this while loop and essentially kill our program. A couple other things here. So I set up a location at the top. So these locations, you're gonna to have to fill out for your values on your screen. 
And also you're gonna have to fill out the value for your cookie on the screen as well. So let's go ahead and open up the game. And you can see here, I've actually been running this on a Reddit bot for a couple days where people can watch uh, my AI play and different things like that. So if you're interested in watching that, I'm starting a new channel called Clarity Scr Streams. So what's gonna happen on that channel is I'm gonna have my AI running for these videos where you can watch them live and interact with them as I'm developing it and maybe do some live coding sessions as well. Now, in order to stream on this channel, I need at least 50 subscribers. So join that channel, check it out at least, see if it's for you, and, and we'll have some more AI up there. With that being said, uh, when we're on our screen here, we can grab the pixel locations of what we wanna click. So Code Bullet doesn't do any template matching, nothing like that in this program. It's pretty simplistic. So all he's doing is grabbing the actual locations that he wants to click on. So if we scroll this sidebar down a little bit so we can see all the upgrades. Now, if you don't have these upgrades yet, if you're not this far along in the game, you can actually use this code.txt and import so you're on the same, uh, same level as I am. So you can use this code.txt if you open it up you can copy everything inside of it. You can go to options and then load from file and you'll be here uh, with the upgrades that I have currently. So how do we get the locations to put into our program? So if you look at main.py, the main click function that we're doing, if you don't count the upgrades, is clicking on the cookie. So we need to find where that cookie is. Now I added a little randomness so it clicks in different spots each time. That's kind of a cute thing. They're not testing for cheating or anything like that that I know of, so you probably don't have to do that. But we're gonna grab the locations of the pixels on the screen. So I do that in a really fancy way. I print screen, and then I open up paint. I paste this in, and if I grab the little uh, pencil over here, and then I highlight over a spot, in the bottom left hand corner, teeny tiny there, you can see the, pix the, pix the, pixel, the pixel location that I'm hovering over. So I'm hovering over an X value of 308 and a Y value of 487 in the middle of the cookie. So if I go over here, I could delete out this random spot and just enter those numbers in here as well. So for my X, I could enter 300 we'll say. And then for my Y, I could enter, say, about 500, it looks like. Now, if I wanted to leave the randomness in, I could do something like 275 to 325 for my X. And I said my Y was at four or 500. So I can do like 475 to 525, let's say. So that should probably work. So you're gonna fill out your values just like that. Your values are gonna be different than mine. Now we'll go to the upgrades. So the only upgrades you have to put in here are things you wanna buy. So if you don't wanna buy the cursor, if you don't wanna buy grandma or farm or different things like that, you don't have to put them in here. Now we're using the X and the Y locations in this program, so you need to update those values. I use the name in my Reddit bot that I'll show you in a minute so people can comment what they want my bot to buy. So they can say temple and the bot will then buy a temple. So you don't have to use that if you're just doing the simple clicker. So you can go through these and you can update your values and you can also knock off anything that you don't want to buy or that you haven't unlocked yet. Okay, so what about the rest of the program? The only other thing we do in this program is after so many times through clicking, I wanna auto do upgrades. So the program can up, upgrade values itself. So what happens here is we use modular division. So we say our upgrade count, and this increases by one every time we click on a cookie. When that divided by the upgrade limit, the remainder equals zero, then we go through our upgrades. So modular division is, is pretty unique, but it's very useful in programming. So modular division gives you a remainder. So two mod two, would have a remainder of zero. Um, two mod three would have a remainder of one because two goes into three one time with a remainder of one, so on and so forth. So when the remainder is zero, we wanna run our upgrades. So if our upgrade limit is a thousand, 
That means that the remainder will be zero on 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, so on and so forth. So it's gonna upgrade every 1,000 ticks. So you can see how you could change this as well. If I wanted it to only upgrade every 10,000 ticks, I could upgrade it to 10,000. Awesome. Then when it goes through this, it's gonna grab every location in our click locations. So we define this variable as click locations up here, and you can see it's gonna go through each one and click it. Great. Now, you may have noticed that the low value one starts first. Well, I wanted to spend my money on the high value items, so I actually reversed this. So if you look down here, you can see colon colon negative one, that's actually reversing the list. It's going backwards through the list. So it's gonna start at the store, which is what I call this little hand up here. And then it's gonna go through the most expensive items on the way up. So I'm not gonna upgrade these, so our clicks might be just a little bit off, uh, but we can go ahead and run this program and see what it looks like. So let's do an upgrade after 500. Let's minimize this. We're back in our game. So we got all of our upgrades done. You should be good there. Let's go ahead and run this program. It's gonna wait five seconds, which just gives you time to get settled. And you can see here that I have my, <laughs> my code bullet moment. He would have Ricardo dancing on the screen or something, but I have two monitors and I had it set up, the game set up on the wrong monitor. So the auto cl clicker is going crazy, but Pyoto GUI has a fail safe where you can throw your mouse in the top right corner and that saves you, so I'm gonna chuck it up in the corner. You see it kills the program. I'm gonna flip my code window and my cookie window around. So if you have two monitors, you might have to uh, adjust which side you're grabbing and that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and run this again. And you can see we're clicking cookies. So uh, this is running. We're gonna let this run. Should just take a, a couple minutes here and then we're gonna see it do its upgrade. So once it hits that upgrade limit, it's gonna jump over to the other side and start its upgrades. So we got 200, and this is pretty much it. This is the brains of what he accomplished in that video. If you like these videos, we're gonna try and do one every time he releases a video. I'll do a little follow-up and give you guys the code. The only reason I like to do these is because he's freaking hilarious and brings a lot of coders in, but doesn't give them the code or really walk through it. So that's what I want to change and kind of do here. Now you'll see it's getting close to the upgrade, so we'll let that upgrade. You can see it's going over here and it's clicking. I didn't adjust uh, the pixel values on those, so you can see it's a little off, uh, but you can make those adjustments and then it goes right back to clicking. Now we can hold down on the keyboard and it'll kill our program. So I want to show you guys really quick what I wanna do with the other channel. So, so if I bring in this other code base here, and I'll try not to show you my Reddit password or anything. <laughs> so you can see what I did here. So basically what I did with this Reddit bot, and I'll show it on the screen here as well, is I added some welcome messages and different things like that, and I live streamed my bot playing Cookie Clicker, and I allowed people to comment on that Reddit post that would then interact with the bot. So it would buy stuff or, or click the cookie or click somewhere on the screen or different things like that. So that's what I'm trying to do with Clarity Stream. So again, if you don't mind, hop over to that channel, subscribe, and I will have this bot and some different ones running on there in the next couple weeks. The main change that I made to this program is I actually have another file here called redditbot.py and in this redditbot.py, it finds my live stream and then pulls in the comments and digests those by the click location name. So if someone types temple, it's going to go and click temple and actually make that purchase. I'll post this code as well. Hopefully you guys like this video. Please let me know in the comments if you want anything else or any other walkthroughs or AI related tasks. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. We do Python tutorial videos along with cool programming showcases like this. Uh, I don't always follow Code Bullet's, uh, Code Bullet's path, but he is wildly entertaining. So I love to uh, follow up those videos and show you guys how it's done as well.
Thanks everyone for watching and until next time, keep coding.